Hey yo, what it do, what it do, it's ya boy Q, and we may have ourselves a little bit of a break from ALGS, but we're less than a week away from seeing some of the world's best Apex Legends players taking the stage for the Esports World Cup, so I figured, you know what, might as well go ahead and be a good time to get down to a tier list here for the Esports World Cup Apex Legends event. Now, in case you guys are unfamiliar as far as how the Esports World Cup is going to work for Apex Legends, Flashbang warning, by the way, for our visual uh, people here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go over this real quick over on Liquipedia. It's broken down into two groups to start things off. You've got Group A, and then you've also got Group B, each group being consisted of 20 teams. In that first initial group play, as we're going to see here, the top nine teams, well, they're going to advance right over into that grand finals, all right? The bottom team, team number 20 from each lobby, they're automatically gone. So that gives us 10 teams left, that 10th through 19th from lobby a to lobby b well they're going to be competing off in a uh, lower bracket final that's going to give us our top two teams from that lobby to round out a full 20 when it comes to that grand finals so i figured you know what we can't really do like a pickums or anything like that like we do over here on the channel when it comes to our valorant like when it comes to our rocket league so let's go ahead and do a little bit of a tier list here and kind of break down our expectations for the week of course, by the way, if you guys are looking for a good place to be tuning in to all the action, we're going to be watching as much as we can over here, as much as my schedule does allow. There's going to be one day on the weekend. I'm not sure which day yet between Saturday or Sunday that I'm going to have to be watching it a little bit after the fact or maybe just tuning in late since it is the little man's birthday weekend. Uh, but otherwise, we're going to be watching as much during the week on that Thursday and Friday starting at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And that 11 a.m. start time is through the weekend as well. So let's go ahead and get things started, keeping in mind that, of course, the top nine teams from each lobby are going to be going, or from each group, I should say, the top nine teams from Group A and the top nine teams from Group B, they're going to automatically be in that grand finals there. So that could affect a little bit as far as how this list looks, because it could be based off of which group they're in, right? Uh, of course, our favorites, I mean, they're the first name up on the list. We might as well talk about them. Team Falcons. Um, I mean, the super team, they've been looking great in NA. Um, I, and it's Team Falcons. I mean, it's your event over in the Esports World Cup over in Riyadh. Um, yeah, you have to imagine they're definitely one of the favorites to make it here for sure. Now, when we talk about EOS Predator, um, they're a team from APAC South. That is going to be Gop Gap, Fafif, and Jack Q. They're from the APAC South Qualifier. Those names are definitely familiar as someone who does watch quite a bit of the Apex South region. I just don't think it's got enough qualifier. Definitely going to have to put them into no finals there. Remember at first, we're just going to be kind of putting them into a slot one place or another. All right, chat. And then we'll go back and actually kind of see if we can order them here as well. As far as for Team Liquid, definitely feel like they're a team that should definitely be in the finals. Um, of course, Team Liquid is in Group A. They're in the same lobby as the team falcons as well also something to think about before i get too deep into this thing at the esports world cup we're not doing a poi draft or anything like that this is the old school style one drop ship there's going to be contests and things like that so that is something that we are going to be taking into account as well all right now we do have luminosity i do feel like luminosity another team with their current roster you gotta feel like they're going to be able to find their way into the finals as well they are also in group a i think actually looking at it here i think a lot of these first teams are group a and i don't think that's how they're separated in here we'll keep going through um ghs professionals that is an apac north squad um one tappy four rufa and pinky GHS Professional, I don't even know if I'd feel comfortable putting them in could qualify. I mean, I'm looking at Group A, right? Group A has got teams like Aurora, Team Falcons, Crazy Raccoon, Twisted Minds. Let's put them at no finals for now, but for now, I think I'd have to put them towards the top of that as the way that it looks. And of course, this isn't going to be solidified as well. We'll go ahead and move things around later on as well, depending on how we're feeling. Red Rams are a Group B team, right? I think Red Rams are in Group B. Okay, let's go look at that real quick. Flashbang warning. Uh, Red Rams. Am I absolutely blind, chat? I'm blind, isn't? aren't I? This is going to be really, really funny when I... Yeah, they were right in front of my face. Chat, it's so bad. It's so bad, chat. 
Um, APAC North, 7th place team in APAC North. Um, probably not as good as Evos. Nah, better than Evo. So I think we're going to put them up here by GH. Uh, no, we're going to put them down here as far as for now. Uh, FaZe, I think the new FaZe roster um, looks really good. Of course, Synetic, Arctic, Nogs. They're in Group A, though. They are in a tough group. For now, we're going to put them in could qualify. Because, um, of course, that's... I mean, they should qualify. Again, they should qualify probably in that top nine. But, I mean, Group A is going to be tough, man. So it wouldn't surprise me if uh, we happen to see things kind of go a different way. Gaiman, or Gaiman Gladiators from EMEA. Blast, Lufka, and Light. Uh, I gotta feel like, again, it's Group A. EMEA, I think, is going to, um, I think, have a good performance in EWC. Let's go ahead and put them also in could qualify. Definitely below FaZe, though. I feel like FaZe... Uh, has better chances of qualifying than Gaming Gladiators for sure. Makers. Makers is definitely... <sighs> I think I'm going to put them at the end of finals, especially because there are contests here. And I do apologize if I hit the mic during that. I'm going to hate myself during uh, editing if that was the case. I, I think Makers is one of those teams, especially with the contesting system. I mean, I know in Apex South, the story has kind of always been about legends who are going to be competing under that Twisted Minds banner. Um, but Makers have won the playoffs the last two as far as within the region. They finished second when it came to regional play as well. Um, and they've done fairly well at the last LAN, if I'm not mistaken, as well. I, I think they were in the finals, if I'm not mistaken. So I, I think they make finals here, too. I think for now, I'm going to put them like at the bottom of finals. They could end up sliding down here to could qual. We'll kind of see how things go. The one thing for uh, makers, though, is kind of like we talked about with, well, FaZe and Game and Gladiators. They are both in, or all three of them are in Group A. Speaking of Group A here as well, uh, we do have GK Esports. Oh, it's an APAC South team. So that's Rocky, Panayi, and Killapose. Man, I feel like it's a wild card team for real, for real. Like, honestly, could probably be like the bottom of good qual. I really like that roster, man. Rocky, Panayi, and Killapose. Hmm. <sighs> Let's put them at bottom of could qual. As far as for now, we'll see how the list continues to go um, across here. Fennel, Fennel's been decent there in APAC North. It's another APAC, or that's another Group A team since it is Group A. I do think I've got to put them at no finals. I think they're. Eh? Probably below Red Rams as well. DSG, I hate to say it, probably an early exit. Um, we don't even know who their third is right now. I don't think who they're taking to um, EWC. Do we? They, okay, so they are officially taking Q's here, which makes sense. That's who they finished um, ALGS with. My boy Llama's gonna watch this and hate me. Llama, I'm sorry, bro. I just, I, I don't see it. I think they're an early exit squad. Um, KC Pioneers, my dogs. Um, I think KCP's been looking really good. I don't know if I'd quite confidently be able to put them at finals right off the rip just because, like a lot of these teams we've been doing here early chat, they are in group A, and group A is gonna be really, really stout. Pioneers, though, they are a type of team that I feel like if you were to put them into a like middle 20 or I guess that would be still bottom 20 I think if you put them in a bottom 20 lobby I think PCP has the the capability to be able to have like a really strong lobby regardless right and still like possibly could qual I think I trust KCP over FaZe and Gaming Gladiators and GK Esports as well. So let's go ahead and put KC Pioneers and could qual. I, I want to put them in finals, man. My heart does. Um, I just don't know if I if I can guarantee that just quite yet. Just kind of looking at the, the rest of what is in Group A. You know what I mean? Because uh, we haven't gotten to some of these other teams. But it does look like our next team is going to be a squad. I think Voice is in Group B, right? Oh, here we go again, chat, where I'm looking around. Hold on. 
flashbang warning. All right, chat, help me find this thing. Hey, you know what? I'm putting moist down here for now. All right, elevate gaming, because I've wasted way too much time with this, by the way, chat. I <laughs> did. It's so bad. Um, elevate gaming. I mean, they've. I feel like they've got the potential. I just haven't liked what I've been seeing from them lately. Let's put them in and could qual for now. I just, I don't know, man. I don't feel, I, I personally don't feel that confident in, in them. Fanatic, I do definitely feel like, especially with the fact that the, a, uh, with, with the, it, it's kind of the old school style. I think Fanatic definitely has to be a favorite uh, up there at the top. HAO from APAC North. No finals. I feel bad because I know a lot of these APAC North teams from here and end, end up in APAC and, and no finals, but like historically they just have not done well. Um, I feel like the APAC North's kind of fallen off a little bit more as far as with the current system. Um, I just don't trust it for real, for real. Um, oh, I see why. What's up here, chat? Hold on. So I also have this up on the other screen. I was scrolling. That's not moist. I am so stupid, bro. I was looking for that forever i hate my life it's just so bad anyways let's go in I, I didn't want to put not moist up if they for some reason weren't up there i thought they were uh not moist though with their current roster i feel like looking really good <sighs> they're in group b who else is in group b with them let's take a look real quick flashbang warning tsm's in their group alliance is in their group They've also got Space Station Gaming, Elevate. Now, I still feel like Moist should be able to bring a top eight in that, or top nine in that. I'm gonna I'm give, I'm gonna put Moist uh, in, in finals. Yeah, yeah, especially with the with the contests. Not that I know, not that that we know they're gonna be con getting contested or anything, but it, it feels like they should be all right. I, I think. Um, Navi, of course, with Matafe, Kinda, and Henchman also feel like they're in the... It's weird how I got three EMEA teams here in the could qual range. Could qualify, they're in Group B. <clears throat> uh, of course, they do. They have some other tougher um, competition in Group B. Passion UA, I would love to see. I just don't think they do. Put Passion UA at the top of no finals for me. Um... Weibo Gaming is from Apex South. That's Goo Goo. Boring. Um, hmm. Is that Apex South? No, Weibo is Apex North. Apex South. Really? Oh, the old wonton dumpling roster. Got it, got it, got it, got it. <clears throat> um, wonton dumpling. I feel like probably no finals, but I do feel like we'll be close. Probably over Evo's Predator, to be honest. Um, Virtus Pro. God, they looked so bad during Split 2. I feel like still with all of their talent in the world. I don't know, man. I feel like my could qual starting to get a little bit too big. I think for now, I'm going to have to put them in no finals. <clears throat> just because of the way they've been playing lately, I just don't think I can put them there. I don't think I can put them there. Um, Exos Laser is the Apex, or not Apex, oh, that's the South American team. Um, that's essentially the old Leave No Witness squad. Probably no finals. I don't think they'll get an early exit, though. <clears throat> um, Reject Winity. Which I think for this... <clears throat> is still the old Reject Winity squad, right?
or is this the new reject squad? Have Crazy Raccoon and Reject already changed? I think I think that change has gone through also for EWC, right? Yeah, okay. So I think Reject probably goes with no finals. Do I think they're an early exit though? They really didn't look good in split two. <clears throat> I think I might have to put them down there for now. Um, NRG has not fun Reptar. They are in group B, so they are in the easier of the two groups, in my opinion, which probably has to have them with better chances, IMO, right? Because again, this is part of this is going to be based off of what group they're in. I do think group B is going to be a little bit of an easier road. Um... Honestly, might even put NRG, like, up by Pioneers, for real. Uh, we'll go back through and see if there's anything to change as far as places. I think TSM has been looking great. I think you actually have to put them as a favorite right now. Um, I, I mean, they only seem to be getting better with time. Um, SSG, I would say underperforming currently. But I would definitely put them in finals and probably ahead of everybody else that I have in finals currently. Um, Riddle Order. Who did not look good in split number two. Um, what, Riddle Order in split two finished 12th. I think they might actually also have to be an early exit. What, so I think it's going to be in group A. It's going to be between DSG and Reject. Oh, who else is going to give them a run? Maybe Dragons, probably. Dragons. Just so we have early exit out of the way. Dragons, of course, be another South American team. Panic, Zillix, Sleep. Um, honestly, I'd probably put them over Riddle. Uh, order is really kind of uh, unnecessary for now. North Eption. Um... They've kind of been like bottom of the pack when it comes to your qualifying teams from APAC North. Probably right below Wonton Dumpling there in the middle probably for me for no finals. Alliance definitely also has to be a favorite. Buff TSM? Buff Fanatic? I don't know, man. Alliance, since the roster change, has only gotten better too. I think I might need to put Alliance second behind Team Falcons for real. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. Blacklist Internationals, uh, Yuzako Hierarka, Hierarka. Yeah, I always mess up his name. Um, and JMW. Mm, no finals, probably down that APAC North ish section. Guild Esports, of course, Guild. No, wait, is that Guild or is that Legend? That, or not Legend, LGD. That might be LGD, right? Is that, yeah, LGD Gaming. So that's from APAC South. Uh, one of the other Chinese teams. Probably no finals. Yeah, below North Epson. Yeah, somewhere in here, probably. Feels good. Heroes just barely qualifying. Um, from Split 1, another APAC South team. I don't think makes finals. It's just finals is probably too thick, honestly. Um, DMS and EMEA qualifier also down there. Um, Crazy Raccoon, the old Reject Winity squad. I mean, I know they sh they technically didn't make split two. Um, I think APAC North really struggling with the POI draft. Uh, I do think going back to the old school style gets, fits more their, their play style. I think I got to still put trust in them that they're going to make finals, especially for them. I mean, yeah, they're in Group A, which is going to make it tough. But I think that's why I got to put them at the top of, like, making finals still. Maybe even put SSG above them just simply because SSG's in Group B. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do for now. Uh, we've got Ty. Ty, of course. Um, an APAC North qualifying team. Man, 
I feel bad because I just keep putting all these APAC North teams in no finals. I just, I am very unimpressed. Granted, I know the second split from APAC North was with the POI draft. But I mean, other than Reject and um, Fnatic, no one else really looked good at playoffs or split one anyways. Honestly, I think that's probably a fair assessment. Um, Aurora. Mm, nine Impulse and Oirain with their replacement. So Aurora obviously looked better when... They had the old roster. Do we trust the current iteration of Aurora? That's the real question, right? I feel like I do. Only, uh, but they're in group A though. Uh, I think Aurora has to, might have to be at the top of no finals for me. Do I like that? Yeah, I think I like that. Uh, Ninjas in Pajamas. Ah, man. Nasky and company didn't look good in Split 2 and EMEA, but uh, man, in Nasky, I trust always, bruv. Uh, how many Group A teams do I have right now in my faves and finals because Falcons is up there liquid luminosity makers so I'm still so, yeah, I mean I think I still gotta put the top of could qual a matter of fact, I might even need to still put them behind Pioneers. I feel like Pioneers have more momentum. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I like that right there. Twisted Minds, of course, having the Legends Gaming um, roster. Top of finals for sure. I would feel weird having five favorites. But I do feel like the homies are due. They're going to have their full roster. Easy flash with them. Matter of fact, I might even put TSM down there as well. And only go with three favorites. Yeah, I think that's the move. Guild Esports from APAC South. Could call. So what does that give us? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. So that means technically I put this thing into our, our qualifiers and not qualifiers. Does that line up with gr the groups, though? Because how many group Bs do we have? Okay, Fnatic, not moist. Navi's here. Alliance. SSG. NRG. Elevate. Do I need to put probably another group B, I guess, in here, huh? I guess with that then, would probably have me feeling a little bit better about Virtus Pro as a could qual. Do I think the old wonton dumpling squad can do it? That's going to be the question.
probably not. Kind of makes me feel a little bit better. Hold on, let's go look at the, the groups all together. Does have me feel a little bit better about heroes. Because what? Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would like to have a ninth up there. Man, Passion has looked good. I would really like Passion. You know, Passion's playstyle in Group B might actually work for them. I think doing that. How do we feel about that, chat? So then for our three favorites, Falcons, Twisted Minds, Alliance, I think I like that order. Um, for our Locked In Finals, Fanatic, TSM, SSG, Crazy Raccoon, I like that order. Probably that order there for finals. So Fnatic, TSM, SSG, Crazy Raccoon, Moist, Luminosity, Makers, Liquid. I think it's a solid list chat when I'm looking at it. I don't know. You guys let me know what y'all think as far as the list. Where did I miss? Where did I hit? What surprised you? What didn't? Uh, and then also let me know kind of what your guys' are probably top three favorites are. I put mine there. Ours are Alliance uh, in third, Twisted Minds in second, and Falcons in first. Not necessarily those are saying my top three, but the order as far as who I think are probably the biggest favorites. You got to keep in mind for Twisted Minds, man, this roster, the Legends Gaming roster, we have not seen this solid trio on land in a hot minute. I think Easy Flash being there makes a big difference, especially being able to pl play alongside the duo of Player K as well as Strafing Flame. Anyone who's been through over on the channel before, y'all already know I'm a huge Strafing Flame fan. I think this is his moment to shine, especially on land there in the Middle East playing for an organization from the Middle East. Um, would love to see Twisted Minds be able to raise the trophy, but I do think that this is Falcons' event to lose. I mean, the Super Squad just looks so, so good there when you got Jen Burton, you've got Zero, you've got Hal, uh, and of course, as far as when you look at the Alliance roster as well, uh, Hackus Effect, Unlucky being a big pickup for them as well. So I think those three favorite teams are ones to keep out for. Let me know as far as down those comments below who y'all think we should be keeping an eye on as well. Remember those comments as well as those likes. Those are the two things that helps out YouTube know they should be putting this content in front of more people. We're chasing down our first thousand subscribers over here, man. We cover a lot of ALGS over here on the channel, but of course we also cover some RLCS, some VCT. We cover a couple of other titles here and there as well. We're just big esports fans, man. So if you're looking for a good place to kind of keep up with that sort of stuff, we also got the podcast as well. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button down below and turning those notifications on. And until we do catch y'all back over here for the next one, man. Don't forget, with everything crazy going on in the world today, be true, be you, be sincere, game hard and love hard, all right, y'all? It's your boy Q, signing out.